Hi, my name's Rihanna, and I'm doing Ramsey. Vegetables! And 10. All right, guys, we are on recipe 58. And I'm really sorry, but we've been on a hiatus for a little bit. We all got busy with work, but we are back, baby. And tonight we are cooking the pan fried sea bass with Mediterranean vegetables and crispy abergine. I'm sorry, what? Veg what? Vegetables. <laughs> Vitamina veg. <laughs> Vegetables. Stop! <laughs> He's took, already starting. He took you a break from We've been on too. hiatus and Jason is already annoying me. Jesus Christ. Remember, we're using the best pans in the world. Hexclad. And go get the link in the bio. Wow. Jason, you screwed me up. <laughs> That's my job. Uh, it's been a long time since we've done this, y'all. Please go use our link in the bio for 10% off Hexclad. Also, 10% off Osmo Salts. All right. As you know, we have our hype crew. We have the peanut gallery, Jason. <laughs> Hello. Jen is unfortunately sick, but we love you, Jen. She's in bed. And tonight we have Daphne reading the recipe. I'm back. She She's just a part of the show. That's just <laughs> I it. I live down the block. That's right. That's she's, why. she's literally four <laughs> minutes away. She will be here. And yet she all... still shows up late. Yes. <laughs> it's just the Hispanic in me. She took a nap. I did. <laughs> and tonight, you guys, we have someone special that I've known for almost 18 years, a food and beverage expert, a Michelin star GM, Greg Lee. Oh, out my boob. <laughs> Careful with your back. Hey, so, oh yeah, I have so a bad back, I forgot. That's why we've been on hiatus. Um, anyway, get in here, Greg. What are you where are you okay. going? You have to stay here. He's new, guys. He, he is new. Him. But um, he's so much fun. And if you ever followed him on Instagram, please do link in the description of his Instagram. It's hilarious. He does these great skits. Oh stop. Yes. I'm excited to be here. Let's get down on some rounds. Alright, let's go. So we're gonna do this shit in ten minutes. You ready? Born ready. Alright, let's let Daphne tell us a little bit about this recipe while we heat up these pans. Uh. Yes, we're doing a pan seared sea bass with Mediterranean vegetables and crispy aubergine. It isn't the fish that takes time to cook here, it's the aubergine. Hashtag eggplants. So get them cooking right at the start. Choosing baby aubergines and cutting them finely will speed up the process, but don't rush it. The oil needs to be really hot before you add the slices oh, to did the you pan. Hear that? Oh, oh. Say it again. The oil needs to be really hot before you add the slices to the pan. Hear that? Or the aubergine flesh will just soak up the oil and be soft and greasy rather than crisp. crisp. No one likes soft aubergine. <laughs> no so aubergine is actually just eggplant. So we know we learned the coriander is cilantro, aubergine is eggplant. So wait, 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 wait. Oh, All right, we ten have minutes. to set a timer. No, 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 oh, okay, okay. All right, Time are you ready to set. set a timer hey, down there? Ah, watch out, this ready? is hot. Hey, Google. Go, go, Power Rangers. Rangers. Okay, ten minutes. Yeah. Ten minutes cool. All right, Daph, let's go. You guys are already warming up your skillet. Yep. Okay, so now you're going to cut the bottom with a tablespoon of oil. We are going to use beef tallow, you guys. We're going to start Rotate. Seeing. Ooh, the Wagyu. That's a... Uh, what? That's Michelin. The that's Michelin fat right there. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so while that's going, finally slice the aubergines and add them to the pan. Finely slice. Finely slice. How much aubergine does it call for? It calls for two baby ones or one small. And then while that's going, you're gonna add them to the pan, cook for two to three minutes, Let's make tossing sure this occasionally is really hot. until brown and crisp. Look at perfect. Wow, camera. Greg, look at your knife skills. It's like you know what I'm you're actually doing. really hey, impressed. You know, I've been yeah. around here a couple times. Very consistent cuts, Jen. Okay, I want we want to make sure this is really hot, as Gordon says. Hold on. Give it a, another like ten seconds. Did it say two baby aubergines? Is this considered a baby? I mean I see it the is. big boy I over there, so those were oh, I think these yeah. are the Japanese. And we're that eating was the a lot. We love to eat here too. We'll slice one more. I kinda just want to test. Nope, not yet. It's still heating. These are one minute out. Oh my god. It's okay. We're gonna do fine. <laughs> okay, there they go. Oh man. It's like you actually know Greg works in a Michelin star kitchen because he's quiet with his head down. I know, I get so serious. <laughs> you really cook. do. Everyone's yeah, like, I'm like so social. The second I, I get actually, a knife in my hand, I'm like, where'd you go, Greg? Come yeah. back to earth. 
It's just like this is my zen I place. I think that's you know, plenty because exercise. we're just gonna fill the bottom of this pan, okay? And you're it's focused. Like, it's you like, don't it's like my your meditation. Fingers. Yeah, right. no, that's good. But he also has that mentality of like military style of cooking. So. I have nipped off a uh, fingertip once or twice. Gotta be finger. careful. All right, so two to three minutes tossing two occasionally to three minutes. Leave it, leave until it. brown okay, and crisp. One. Okay. You're Fair gonna enough. season with salt and pepper and half the lemon zest. Oh, we got a lemon zest. And then you're gonna drain them in kitchen towels. Wait, you just said a whole yeah. lot of words at once. Say, say them so again. So we're gonna salt and pepper them. We're gonna do lemon zest on top, which we gotta get the microplane that Alex oh, and I Oh, so have. it begins. It's about to be one. Oh, it works. I'm gonna do a little bit more fat. Now, are we doing the same thing in this, or this is just So this one is different. For... Uh, meanwhile, peel and slice the shallots and slice or grate the garlic. Okay. So it says two shallots and two garlic cloves. Once again, you're slicing the shallots and or slice the garlic or grate it. So they're going to be slices? Yes. Not, not chopped? Correct. Okay. Perfect. Am I flipping these, Chef? Um, like, two to three minutes and okay. then you can. Okay. That pan looks dry though. Nope, it's actually it's very good. seasoned. Yeah. Hi. It, the, that's what he was saying, it's, how the, it soaks up the oil. Yeah. It was doing that in the beginning. Wow. But they're still very much non-stick. Look at that. Look at that. Still non-stick. Sorry, okay. I just have to flex on hex clad. They're the best. We can, uh, you can Start actually flipping. use this pan if you want. Yep, that one's too early. Go back You're on. gonna add the shallots and garlic to your pan and then you're gonna toss. Okay. How many shallots did you say again? Two shallots, two garlic. You, you could do this. I know. If I'm like, I, I, I already f up. I, I, like, what are we doing here? This pan is I already, really I, already, hot. I, already, I already diced them. What are we doing in this pan? Okay, he's going to toss the shallots and in garlic. Here? Yep. It's really smoky. It's really, it's about to <laughs> I saw that. Hold on. Right. I want like I'm nice, like, cool down a sec. So I've changed my mind. Good oh, wait, he doesn't want to use that. He no, good thing we have an extra shallot because I'd like nice rings, actually. Yeah, that looks a little sh**. It's a cool down. I know. That is a hot pan. Everyone love that one chef. No, I'm just kidding. Look at these. Elbow, no, it's just a force of habit that I'm like doing. Yeah, okay, fine, throw them in fine here. dice. Okay, we're looking good. Yeah. How many shallots are we talking again? We did two shallots and two garlic. And the roasted garlic has already cool. been. You guys have six minutes. Oh my god. Well, these are okay. like these six are like, these are like on, big boy shallots. We gotta we gotta we gotta start moving. Yes. We gotta okay. move. Yeah, now, it's about the size garlic. of two shallots. Garlic. Yep. And uh -huh. the garlic is right here. Wow. Okay. okay, they're prepared. Let's go. So while you're doing that, combine them. You're gonna de-seed and slice chilies and add them to Here the goes, pan. Jesus. Okay, perfect. So the chiles, you need two red chilies. One to two red chilies, de-seed them. My goodness, this is a lot of work. Okay, and then I'm putting minutes. the, I'm putting and slice these. as well, slice. Right, I'm putting, yep. okay. I'm gonna take out Go the ahead. seeds. Yeah, that's so intense, holy moly. Okay, I yeah, know. it's the garlic, babe. The chilies, garlic, onions. Uh, are these sliced, you said? Yes, slice. Ooh, we need baby. Palo. Keep it a little spicy. Okay, am I doing the fish? We gotta get the fish on. Okay, okay. So Greg is doing that. Place a nonstick frying pan over high heat, add a tablespoon of oil, and then gently score the skin on the sea bass fillets with a sharp knife. Okay, our fish does not have skin, so we are just, we're free balling it. I'm excited about this. This is looking pretty fire. Yep, you're gonna season your fish with salt and pepper. Oh, geez. Way. Okay. Oh, on both sides before? Uh, yeah, but you... Too late. Get, it's too late, yeah. No, it's no, not. No, no, no. No, it's no, not. No, it watch is, me. It is, it is, it is never me. too let's late. Let's go, let's go. Okay, Greg. Now you're let's gonna... Go. Okay, now you're gonna add sun dried tomatoes and then toss to combine. Oops, can you turn this thing back on? Yes, sir. Oh, God, I hope the thing is not out. No, I just keep messing with it and it doesn't like me. There you go. Ooh, it clicks. Yeah, it does. Okay, so what's going on oh, in this wait, guy? So you're going to add the sun-dried tomatoes to it. Oh, perfect timing. How much? Eight Ooh, to ten. Burn your elbow, chef. Eight to ten. Eight, eight to ten. <laughs> well, how many yeah. is that? All right. There we go. That looks pretty good. Ah, that looks perfect. So let that cook a little bit. You're going to add the white wine and allow it to bubble for 30 seconds. So oh, right there. Smell that. Rihanna? That's wait, I'm sorry. What? What is it? You were talking to me? Oh. <gasps> Three and a half minutes left. Oh Holy crap. Okay. Hold on. Watch Gar out. Garlic is my love language. I want to put this okay. couscous in here because it is supposed to be on the plate. Okay. I want to make it look I'm pretty. So now you're going to add white wine. Okay. It doesn't say that yet. It says now add white wine. Allowed to bubble for 30 seconds. 
Holy moly, Look at that. Oh, this looks good. Yum. Woo. So once you add that for 30 seconds, saute it. You're going to add your veggie stock to it. Okay. And canned tomatoes. Still needs another second. And canned, oh, yeah. can, and canned tomatoes. Okay. So stock and canned tomatoes. Any lemon zest on this, Chef? Um, I feel like there should be, but. <coughs> oh, God, I can't speak. Okay. Fair enough. This freaking chile. All right, we're adding our chicken stock. We're going to add our canned tomatoes. How many canned it, tomatoes do we need? Canned tomatoes. It just says uh, uh, four I, I, I pre-measured. Pre okay, perfect. Everything's pre-measured. If you were to zest the fish, you'd burn. So if you were to put zest heat. on the fish right now, oh, it'd burn. burn. What about salt and pepper? So after that, it right just says the to half oh, cherry man. tomatoes and add them to the pan. Half these and add them to this. Whole tomatoes? Yep. It's, uh, it says have them. Have them? Yep. Uh, if they, Three. If, if Three. we need to put them in there, they so gotta go in there. And then you're gonna add we oregano to it. Oh, wow, perfect. this smells fantastic. Favorite? And a drizzle of olive oil and remaining oh, lemon zest. I should have done that yet. And then Rihanna, you're cooking those? Yes, ma'am. Until oh, I see. it's crispy. Higher. And, and then you're going to drizzle that. fish with olive oil and squeeze over some lemon juice oh, and remove gorgeous. it from the pan. Yum, wow. You guys have two minutes. Two We're minutes. bringing it here. We have we two minutes. This. We can do this. We got hella time. <laughs> we can do this. Are those supposed to go in the pan with it? No, no. They no. Got, I think they got get soft. They gotta stay oh, crisp. Okay. They gotta stay crispy. Got it. Fair enough. Ah. Oh, um. Is... Also for the couscous, it said to season generously with lemon juice. Okay. I know you already plated it, but it's right there. Here, chef. There you go. Hmm, look at that. Looks like Meyer lemon. But... Oh. Mm -hmm. Come on, baby. Those are from my tree. Mm. Oh. In my backyard. Look at that. Oh. So good. Oh, that was not ready. You gotta push it. Yeah. Oh, the skins, the skins are bubbling on the tomatoes. Nice. They're blistering a little What's bit. What's our time, Chef? We're you getting there. Minute and 20 seconds. Okay. We so you guys are just waiting for your fish to cook, yep. the stocks to reduce, so then you plate it all, you add the aubergines on top. It goes on top? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's like a garnish. Uh, no, am I seasoning It doesn't say it. It does not say it. I feel like you it. should, but taste it, Chef. Here, do you need a spoon? I mean, be careful! Don't burn your mouth, okay? It does taste nice. I'm, I, I, I feel like without the seasoning, we're yeah. we're not doing this this justice. But uh, ah, woo, wow! Woo. Sorry, my bad. Oh, it's yeah. hot over here. This is the fanciest Ooh. and heaviest pepper shaker I've ever seen in my life. It's it's a very That's nice. a hex clad pepper now, uh, mill, man. I see I see Thank olives over here. Forty seconds. What about those olives? Oh my God! I don't think this fish is cooked yet. I'm throwing Chef, the olives I in. I need that sure, it's hot, but it doesn't Daft. say anything about olives in here. Daph, tell me, is this cooked, babe? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so either, baby. No. Oh, it might be, though, um, if it rests. I think you should add rests. a little bit more lemon juice. Go for it, baby. And then it'll steam it. Do you have a cover? Uh, yeah, underneath. Get the griddle. No, no, I got, no, I got a lid. This I got is a lid. Oh, man. Oh. Wow, this is like the biggest lid I could come I think we have 10 seconds. Holy sh**. We don't. Yes, we do. You're lying. I don't. Uh, we didn't make good minutes. This is good to go. This is Woo! good to go. All right, you can plate that over there. Plate it. And then you're finished. Ah, uh, Hey, nope. Google, stop. Nope, Turn that thing Yeah, off. don't It's okay. Yourself. It's going to be delicious. Sorry, Jason. You're going to have to bleep all the F words. <laughs> so many F words. Oh, man. This is, this Chef, is heavenly. Chef, I think that you're right. This and the sun-dried tomatoes? No, I think. What uh, happened to the sun-dried tomatoes? We put some in there. Oh, they're in there. They're in there. It said to do uh, ten. No, no, no. I, I did. That was I did, all pre-measured. Oh, um, yeah. No. That's, that's okay. a lot of tomatoes. Honestly, well, I, I think you were I, right. I did, I did a measurement from the soul. I was Good really for you. close. Okay, Honestly. I was really close. <laughs> measurement from the soul. Uh, I think we're ready with this those babies. The, Hold this on. is how it looks. Just to let you know. Let me feel it. Let me get the yeah. uh, the tongies. Where's my tongue? Right here. Right here. Just use your hands, Chef. Here, I can test it. Give me a second. You're ruining the look. No, no, no. No, you can't tell when you do I'm that. Fucking no, it should go all the way through. I'm just crisping the sides up a little bit. I mean, at this point, just take your time. I know. We already had a... I think it's fine, though. I really do. With, with, the, with this fish, you can tell there's a little poke of the knife. If it goes through like butter, a sea bass is ready. And this guy right here, she's ready, baby. She is ready. All right, let's go. She ready, honey? Yeah. One nice Damn. little spot wow. right there. Doing a little a garnish, Chef. Oh, yeah, that's the side right there. Want some garnish? Uh, oh. Are you kidding me? Oh. Yes. I kind of want to throw the little bit of that juice on top. Ooh. Insane. Put a little bit of the sauce. Oh, wait, what about these? Oh, yeah. You know, just kind of make them look nice. 
Amazing Grace. She's beauty and she's grace. Oh, okay. yeah. Damn, that actually rustic. looks like a pretty great dish. Flame. Thank you. Uh. Thank you. Oh, come on, baby. <laughs> come on. Woo! We're Ten minutes! And this smoke detector didn't go off. You know what? That's, sauce? Just, that's a win already. Good job, guys. Woo! Sauce. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. Woo! And it smells good. Honestly, look at that. Oh. All right, guys, let's give it a try. You ready to try this? I'm, I'm ready to Woo! dig in. All right, come on, Jason, get in here. That looks okay, you didn't bad. think the fish was cooked. I think it is. I think, oh no, Greg did it. I think mm -hmm. it's probably perfectly cooked mm. at this point. Ooh, the aubergine? Wow. Oh wait, Greg might have been right on It's raw! And it's raw! Is it? No, no, no. Chef, no, tell me. I'm playing, I'm playing. It's so a little, a, it's a little take, bit take, under, take, for take, sure. take a bite. All those herbs. And for, for mm. once, it's not a health kitchen. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> wow, Jason. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I can't hear you. It melts in your mouth. This is a milder fish. It's like uh, very soft flavors of the ocean, but very buttery. Mm. It's just like. It melts in your mouth. Man. It's, it's, it's everything you want, like from, mm. from a piece nice. of fish. Nice. good. Now you see why it was 60 bucks. Yeah, it was so expensive. Inflation. No, Thank God I got a promotion. Mm. <laughs> mm. Also, this is a great meal for dinner. Oh my dinner. God. Like nice dinner for you and your couple, you know, you and your roommate. Oh, the, the little mm. bit of garlic and shallots, it's like, mm. oh, bring the, the beef tallow. Together. The beef tallow. The beef tallow, y'all. Adds a little umami, a little, that little fattiness just brings another layer of texture it's a and whole flavors. Different, it's a whole different ball game with the beef tallow. You all gotta try using that. It's so much healthier for you too. I can't stop eating it. <laughs> it's it's so awesome. good. It's really good. good yeah. All right. Good job. Rating one to 10. Greg, what do you Perfect. give it? 10. I mean, this is damn delicious. I'm gonna give it 9.6. Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna give this an 8.7. Okay. Mm. Jason? Yeah, this is a 10 dish. And I hate fish. Uh, he really does. Oh my I God. Only, I only like raw fish. It's so true. Really? Wow, Jason gave it a 10. Tips. Like, this I will fish never... is almost gone. We've almost destroyed We're all. We're devouring it. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. it is so good. Yo, oh. this re recipe is really good. It's I really give it a nine point eight. Because you get a little tanginess from not just the lemon juice, but from you know, like the olives and sun-dried tomatoes. Oh yeah, the, the tomatoes. The, yeah, the little earthiness from just that. like 8. the shallots and and the aubergine. This is this is phenomenal. It's a good one, y'all. We did it. Good we job, guys. We got All go. right, that was a good one. Greg, guess what we're moving on to? Recipe 59, can you tell them what we're about to cook? We're doing steamed sea bream. Oh. oh. We're gonna go to steamed sea bream. Uh-huh. With ginger, soy, chilies, and sesame Yum. fried shallot. Damn right we are. Go get your ingredients, come back and cook with us, and we'll see you next time. That's right, baby. Bye-bye. Mm. We can't stop. Thai food. I'll throw their bomb at you too. Yeah, bye. <laughs> bye guys. This broth is really good. Woo!